It's still a little hot here across the area, but it's not quite as hot as it has been. Highs as we head into our Wednesday will likely be into the middle 90s as you head toward Meridian, Clifton, down through Coffers Cove and over towards San Saba and Goldthwait as will be between 92 and 96 degrees along the I-35 corridor for your Wednesday. Highs will be into the mid to upper 90s, a pretty hot day out there and off to the east on the along the I-45 corridor. We will also see temperatures into the 90s and down to the south as well. Maybe a couple 100s as you head toward Caldwell and Snook and Bryan College Station right around 98 degrees on our Wednesday. Now in the tropics, nothing imminent in the Gulf of Mexico right now, but we head down to the Caribbean and we do have an area of disturbed weather south of Puerto Rico that will continue to work its way off toward the west. And as that area of disturbed weather moves to the west, it does have a decent chance of becoming a tropical system, at least a tropical depression, 70% chance of that over the next five days. Now, where does this area of disturbed weather go? Models are varying with each and every run, so it's really hard to tell. In general, it's going to move west-northwest across the Caribbean, and then will it curve up into the central Gulf? Will it move toward Texas or move into Mexico? Lots of question marks. We'll keep an eye on it because early next week, if it got closer to Texas, that could increase rain chances, but that's a big if right now. We'll continue to track that closely, but as of now, looks like it may be a little less hot on Wednesday. High of 96 degrees, same for Thursday. Lows at night into the 60s the next couple of mornings. That should feel pretty good. Friday 97, we're back up into the upper 90s as we head to the weekend as well. Late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Could be an isolated storm or two. I think a lot of it will stay to the north of us, however. And then more upper 90s as we head into Monday and Tuesday. There could be an isolated 100 around as well. And we will have some isolated thunderstorms in the forecast here Tuesday through the next weekend, depending on exactly where that next tropical system goes. One of those days may have to be raised or lowered. We'll just have to keep an eye on the tropics for that. Keep it right here on First Alert 25. I'm Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines.